If I go to Google Trends right now and type in Valentine's Day gift searched on Google in the last five years, you can clearly see that the upward trend of the key terms Valentine's Day gift begins to spike right at the beginning of January, hitting its peak search right around February 6th. So as an Etsy merchant, that means that we want to start preparing our Valentine's Day listings pretty much now. And that is why in this video, we are going to be revealing what potentially could be your number one best-selling product in your Valentine's Day collection this year. So let's get into it. Right off the bat here, I typed in Valentine's Day. Now I have my Sales Samurai Chrome extension installed. That is why I can see search volume here. And whenever I'm doing keyword research or any product research, I always wanna search a broad key term first because historically broader key terms get higher search volume. But then also when I click the 500 more here, because the keyword's so broad, Sales Samurai is gonna give me back a bunch of different keyword ideas based off of that broad key term. As you can see here, there is a list of longer tail keywords that Sales Samurai is giving back to me. And right here, you can see this crazy keyword opportunity that is called Ooh Valentine's Day. It's saying that there is over 70,000 searches with less than 2,500 competition per month. And you might be thinking 2,500 competition is still a lot, but remember your keywords are only as good as the relative keywords available to you. So what does that mean? If I'm going and launching Valentine's Day goods, I'm looking for product opportunities or keyword opportunities where there is high search, but low comp, low comp relative to the other keywords competition that are available to me. If we come in here, we see all these different types of keywords that we potentially could use in our listing. Some of these are keywords that we can put in our listing anyway. Some of these keywords are actually pro could inspire product opportunities like we're seeing here. On ooh, Valentine's Day gift, to see that the competition on both of these key terms is less than 5,000. When I look at the other high search volume key terms that are available for maybe product opportunities or keyword opportunities, you're not seeing any other key terms for the most part, except for down here, I'm not sure what that is, but not a whole lot of other keyword opportunities that even have less than 5,000 competition. Low comp compared or relative to the other product opportunities that I have. If I was gonna prioritize, you know, print on demand shirts or candles or gift baskets. I would prioritize, you know, making Valentine's Day products that were somewhere along the lines of ew Valentine's Day gifts. Couple of ideas for you. Let's click on this key term and see what some ideas pop up. If I open this in an incognito window and I look at what ew Valentine's Day gift types of products are showing up, we can see here some of the ones that are showing up on the first page. Another little hack here, what we can do is we can sort this by, we can go into the filters here, we can sort it by star seller, and I'm actually not really concerned with star seller, but I'm actually more so concerned with seeing what are best sellers, if any, because it's still pretty early, so we might not have that many with a best seller badge, but let's put in best in replacement of the word star in the URL, and see if we can sort this page by what's actually best selling. In the first slot positions right here, we're not seeing anything super crazy as far as ooh, Valentine's Day gift. So that actually probably could be a huge opportunity because no one else is really doing it or doing it well. So again, when we put best in that URL, it sorted to the top all of the listings that have badges currently. Again, this could just be because it's still too early and no one's real, there's not really that spike happening yet with Valent the Valentine's Day trend. But even still, this could be even a bigger opportunity seeing that point blank key term, ooh, Valentine's Day gift is in the search bar and nothing is actually really showing up that qualifies for what I would personally visualize when it comes to you Valentine's Day. When we dive a little bit deeper, we actually see that this is kind of a recurring trend. Even here, when you look up anti-Valentine's Day shirt, we see 33,000 searches with only 12,000 competitions. So again, it's, it seems that we're seeing a bit of a trend here and there is just, again, there's so many different ideas, so many different and funny taglines that you could create products around when it comes to going after that specific single 
angry customer avatar. Not angry, necessarily angry. They don't have to be angry. And just to throw a few more in there, we have O-T-E-R coming in, also coming in hot with low competition keywords as well. And NICU, actually, again, that is a hospital terminology that I just realized. So yeah, all of those opportunities look pretty good as well. If I was prioritizing what to focus on first, second, and third, this is the list that I would start compiling. What is the high search, lowest comp? Focus on that first. What is the second best case scenario, third best case scenario, so on and so forth. Oh, here's another one, singles Valentine's Day shirt. Just overall, a lot of great opportunities. Let's talk about what are some product opportunity ideas that we could create with these types of keywords included in our listing. By the way, guys, if you've been enjoying this video so far, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you so much. That helps me, it helps my channel, and yeah, it just really motivates me to keep sharing everything that I learn on my own e-commerce journey. All right, let's get back into the video. Now, again, just rule of thumb here. We want to take those best case scenario keywords and make those the beginning of our title because those high search, low comp words are the opportunities that we want to rank for. So that means that if we are going to do singles Valentine's Day shirt, we're going to make sure that that shirt is optimized for something that clearly says that I'm single or a joke that a single person would understand. Some product ideas. In the print on demand space, this is really easy. There is a plethora of catchy, funny types of POD shirts, sweaters, mugs, candles that you could come up with that are, you know, the single people for the holidays. But let's say outside of print on demand, what could you do? If you were a gift box store and you made custom gift boxes for bridal parties or baby showers, you could make a gift box to myself valentine's day gift where it was uh basically somebody buying a gift for themselves for valentine's day because they're single if you make and sell jewelry you could have earrings but again similar to the idea of a gift to myself and the earrings are on a piece of cardstock or in a gift box that has some sort of writing on it that says a something along the lines that again a gift to myself for this valentine's day and this is how you would take your existing products that you're already selling and transform them into products that make sense for those keyword opportunities not every person with every single type of product has this opportunity obviously your products have to be a fit for this but these are just some things that are off the top of my head that could make sense to stage them differently so then we can have them be a more dedicated holiday product other than just taking your gold earrings and then putting Valentine's Day gift in the title. Now we can actually put a more specific keyword in the title um, because we could, you know, add a card insert in the packaging and show that in an image that says a gift to myself this year on Valentine's Day or something like that. Same thing if you're selling soaps or bath bombs or making candles or honestly anything that just seems like it could be a good fit for a Valentine's Day purchase. But again, those are just some ideas off the top of my head. Overall guys, I hope you got some serious value out of this quick video. There is a lot more probably thousands of hours of free content about Etsy and Shopify in my YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from me. Overall guys, thank you so much for staying to the end and I will see you in the next video.